Today I will show you how you can turn black into any color in Photoshop and even white. So let's start. Hey guys, it's Nemanja and welcome to another really fun episode. Last week I did a tutorial on how to turn any color in Photoshop into black or white and after that tutorial you sent me a bunch of questions how to turn black into any color in Photoshop. So today I will show you that and not just that, I will show you also how to turn black into white in Photoshop. So without further ado, let's jump straight into Photoshop and let the fun begin. Read guys, today we will work on this black car image and we will change this black into a lot of different colors and also in the white. And as everything else in Photoshop, we can do this in several different ways. So I will show you several different methods how you can change black into any color and then you can choose your poison and do your job. Also, we will turn this into a white color. So first, what you want to do, what you need to do actually is to make a selection of the part of the image that you want to change the color. So I made already selection of this part of the car only on the black paint as you can see right here just before this tutorial i use the pen tool for this so you can use any other method that you want i have a really good tutorial about how to select anything in photoshop you can find it on a link right here so check it out if you're not familiar with that and after you made the mask like this you just need to do the next thing what i like to do here because i will uh, show you several different ways how you can do it. I will first create a group. I will just click on a group icon right here and I will move the mask to the group to affect only the group. You will see really quick, quickly why. And the first and the, the most easiest way, in my opinion, to change the black into any other color is obviously hue and saturation adjustment layer. So I will just go with the hue and saturation adjustment layer. Now it's inside the group as you can see and why I put a mask right here? Because everything that I put in this group will basically be affected only by this mask. So I don't need to put, put this mask on each, every each layer that I'm placing here on the layer palette. So it's really easy. On the hue, in the hue and saturation adjustment layer, you just need to, to click this colorize. Guys, it's so intuitive. Colorize, poof, you can see we can go with more saturated color and it cannot be easier than this. So it's really, really easy. You have a lightness slider and you can make it a little bit brighter or a little bit darker, depends what you want, but don't go all the way because this, yes, this is white, but this is, this is not good white. So we don't want this, right? So you just, you can just play a little bit with this slider. And then also you can go with the hue and change to any color that you want. It's so easy. So this is the most easiest way how you can change the colors. Of course, for example, you want maybe something like this, more saturated, more metallic look, you can do it. Maybe more yellowish like that, or maybe more orange, that's cool. Or maybe red car, that's cool too, but I don't like this saturated red color. So maybe more muted like this. And that's it. You can also add curves and maybe add a little bit more contrast. So you have more like metallic look, that's cool too. So that's one way. Another way, I will just hide here in saturation and reset curves. Another way is to use just the curves. Curves is one of my favorite tools in Photoshop to do a lot of crazy things with. And I have even a tutorial on the power of curves in Photoshop. You can watch it on the link right here. So with the curves, you can change the colors again really easily by going to these channels, red, green and blue. So if you want to uh, have a red color on the car, go to red channel and just move the red a little bit up so you can see that we need to remove green or to add magenta because magenta is opposite of green all right and we want to add some yellow yellow is opposite of blue so as you can see we are adding some yellow by removing the blue and this is it we have a really nice red car maybe you want this color of the car that's cool so maybe you want to brighten it up just go with the rgb curve and that's really cool red car. So that's another way how you can play with uh, color changing in Photoshop. And also guys, the the color the colors will look a little bit different if, different if you're 
in different uh, color modes. So we are now in RGB color mode. We have these options in LAB. We have different ways how you can do the same thing. And sometimes it's easier in CMYK. You can do there too. But have in mind that uh, if you want to change from RGB to any other color mode or from any other to any other, you will lose some adjustment layers. So if I go from uh, RGB to LAB, changing mode will discard some adjustment layers change mode anyway i will not do that right now i will leave up to you to play in other uh, color modes so you will discover maybe something new there it's really fun to do it so i'm encouraging you to do it okay that's the second way how you can change the colors and let's hide the curse adjustment layer and now i will show you the third way how you can change the colors in photoshop it's again intuitive way you just need to paint the car with any color you want so for that we will use solid color adjustment layer just place it here and choose any color that you want. I want to choose the red, maybe you want a blue, yellow, orange, etc. But because I like red color on the car, I will do that. Press OK. And now all you need to do is to put this adjustment layer into a different blending mode. So maybe you can go with overlay, you have different kind of results, soft light, a little bit subtle result. Then you can go with maybe screen, you have this kind of result, maybe you want to lower the opacity and then add some contrast with the curse adjustment layer. Then you can go with color dodge or hard mix. You will see color dodge, hard mix and a few other layers are reacting differently on changing uh, opacity and fill slider. I explained all of that in my full tutorial about all the blending modes. So if you want to mo know more about the blending modes, check my tutorial about that right here. Right, so we can go to hard mix and we need to lower the fill because if you lower the opacity, it's not so good result. But lowering the fill, you will see like really cool metallic dark, dark uh, red color. We can change to some other color. As you can see, it can be really cool. Maybe we want to reduce the saturation a little bit, etc. So we have this kind of effect and it's the same with the color dodge. So if you're reducing the opacity, not so good, but with the fill, it's much better. Then you can maybe add the curse adjustment layer and just add a little bit more contrast to it, etc. Play with that. So there are plenty of ways how you can do this in Photoshop. Also, guys, let me just delete this. Just delete this adjustment layer. Also, guys, you can combine several different methods together to get a little bit different final result. So just practice, experiment, have fun, and you will be surprised what you can achieve with just these simple techniques. Now we'll show you how you can change black into white in Photoshop really easily. So let's do that. So maybe your first thought is let's use exposure. Mm, not a good, all right, we will not use exposure. Maybe we can use curves adjustment layer and move this all the way to the left and then we will have really bad result. Please guys don't do this. This will not give you really cool results. So what you want to do is the next thing. We will use a channel mixer adjustment layer. So here it is channel mixer and we will play with some things here. Actually we will do just one simple thing. We will go from this color to monochromatic view. And now we will play just with the contrast. So boost the contrast a little bit and there it is. We have really nice, cool white car. As you can see, this is really, really cool. But we can make it less white, more gray, more white. We don't want this, so don't go that. Something from black, we can make it even more, more darker if we want. But if you want a white car, this is something what you want. And maybe we want to pull back these black shadows a little bit. So to do that, you just need to double click on the channel mixer layer, go to blend if. If you're not familiar with the blend if, I will not now explain the logic behind it. I have a full tutorial on that on the link right here. So check it out. Blend if is a really powerful tool in Photoshop. I will just press and hold alt or option key just to separate these two things and move it until I see some parts of the blacks are coming down. So maybe this a little bit like this and that's it. So this is it. Now I can make everything a little bit more brighter. And this is this is really cool result. So the car was black. Poof, 
now it's white. You can even tweak this in a blend if a little bit. You can even add maybe a little bit of a curse and then add a little bit more of blacks back, etc. But you can really make a cool result with a channel mixer adjustment layer. That's a really cool way to bring something from a dark to really, really bright, from black to white. Let me show you that on another example. So right here we have this black crow and yes, we can colorize it with a hue and saturation adjustment layer and change the colors, etc. It's completely the same, but we can make it black. So this is just the mask of it. You need to make a mask like I did in the first example, but with the channel mixer, it's white. We have really nice, nice white crow, maybe like a white pigeon. So all the details are there. If you can see, this is not like a high quality image. This is black. This is colored, right? And this is white. All the details are there. And remember guys that all these techniques that I showed today will work on a lot of images, but sometimes they will not work. So this is not 100% like uh, working technique. Nothing is, is 100%, but it will work on a plenty of different examples. Also guys, you can change the colors with maybe color balance. I will show you that really quickly and uh, that's a wrap for today. So first you need to make a selection. This is really a sloppy quick way to do selections with a quick selection tool. And, but it's good for this example. And just create a group mask and I would just wanna put color balance adjustment layer inside. And now you just need to go and play with these things. Let's go with the shadows. Let's make the camera black, uh, black to, to red, maybe add a little bit more magenta and yellow. Then we need to go to midtones again, add some things and to highlights. And now we have a reddish camera, but it's too dark. So we can uncheck this preserve luminosity to be a little bit brighter. And we can now combine with some other things, maybe with the curves just make everything a little bit brighter. And as you can see, we have really nice reddish camera. Also, you can go and change this to something else, but this is this is a little bit harder way to do it with, uh, with this uh, color balance, but that's an option. I just want you to know that this is an option too. So maybe you want yellow, etc. because sometimes you can really nail it with this or, or or let me show, I want to delete this and reset this to zero. Let's go to hue and saturation, the easiest way, choose the color, add saturation, make it a little bit brighter, maybe we want a bluish camera, not so, so saturated, and then we can go with this on the top and add a little bit more colors here, maybe a little bit more blue as you can see, or remove a little bit more blue, so this is cool. Let's go to shadows and maybe add a little bit more greens to have this teal, kind of look and maybe a little bit more of blue. So you can combine the color balance with the hue and saturation or you can combine everything with everything and have, as I already said, really, really cool results. So this is a black, this is really ki nice kind of bluish camera. Right guys, and that's it for today. I really hope that you like this tutorial and that you learn something new and useful from this one. Now you definitely know several different ways how you can change black into any color in Photoshop and even white. Now it's up to you to practice, experiment, have fun and apply all these techniques onto your images. If you have some questions regarding to this episode, please leave them down there in the comment section below. I will be glad to answer them. And also guys, if you want to support me to help me to make this channel even bigger and better, you can do that by visiting my Patreon page. The link is down there in the description. So check it out and also you will get some things in return. If you appreciate this content, if you like this episode, press that like button down below, share it with your friends, and don't forget to subscribe if you're not already ready. And also guys, ring that bell to get notified about all the future episodes. Have fun, experiment, and see you guys in my next fun episode. Bye-bye.